um, I had Miley in mind initially, and she and you know she was the one I ended up going with. You know, I ended up going with Miley, and it was the unexpected thing to do. Everybody expected me to go with Alicia, you know, because she's a um, soul, you know, a black soul artist like myself. So it was like, but me personally, I wanted to learn some new things and some things that I probably wouldn't uh, do on a regular day to day basis. Um, so I definitely was trying to go with the unexpected, which was Miley Cyrus. You know, I chose her, got to work with her a little bit, um, and went into the battles of doing an unexpected song by um, Joe Bonamassa and Beth Hart called, um, what was it, I'll Take Care of You. Paired me up with a rock a rock star <laughs> named Aaron uh, Gibson. He doesn't see himself as a rock star, but I see him as that because he has such an, uh, an amazing gift. And we got to share the stage together and we had a huge moment. Like, uh, I truly do believe that this is gonna be one of those battles that they show down the line to the other, the, the up and coming seasons. You know, uh, we had a great moment there. It was a very sexy song. It was, a, it, it, it led a, um, a story, a love ballad. You know, it, it wasn't necessarily a ballad though it was bluesy rock you know type so anyway we did that um I ended up losing the battle to him and I was shifted to Alicia I've actually learned uh quite a bit you know and I've, I, I've actually gotten the best of both worlds because I got to work with two coaches and not just one you know Miley has a different she has a different flair about her she has this youthful side and youthful energy that she brings to the table and um and she has a fearless you know she has this fearless mentality like she's not afraid to try anything and she's not afraid to get you to try something that's outside of your comfort zone so I mean I, I learned to to basically roll with the punches you know, uh, the things, the notes that she would give me, um, I, I applied those notes immediately and, and you know, kind of found a way to, to, to make them work with what I do, with what I'm used to doing. And, um, and I think it worked in my favor. So I, I, I think that she, she brought that side of things. So with Alicia, I learned um, Alicia is all about being who you are. And, and actually loving it, like loving who you are, expressing who you are in the best manner possible. And um, I see that about her just being, just working one-on-one -on -one with her the time that I did. It was kind of the highlight of my experience here. I've, I haven't had a, like it was, that was the best moment uh, like off the stage, you know, cause my home, home is the stage. But that was the best moment off stage that I had was with Alicia Keys and the the uh, the time that she was willing to invest in making sure that my moment was big enough. My moment was what it needed to be to showcase the different things that I can bring out in that song. It was a huge experience for me to work directly with her and the mentors that they had come on. I, we don't even, uh, the mentors they had to come on, like crazy. They worked together and we collaborated for something concerning me. And, um, and, it, and it worked out. So I, I was able to learn and take a lot away with me from those experiences with those coaches. Going into the lives, I am most excited about getting the opportunity to shine um, not having to compete directly against someone else. The pressure is a little relieved, you know, it's, it's released from the moment because you don't have to, you don't have to worry about an opponent, a, a, a particular opponent. Opponent. I, I love that. I can just go out there and show the world who I am, who Soraya is. I can shed the light that I have without the, the worry of what somebody else has to offer, you know, if, or if that'll outshine what I have to offer, you know. I love that part. Um, the part that I'm probably least excited about <laughs> is the fact that after the first live playoff, the, the, the kickoff of the live shows, eight of us have to leave. That's the part that I'm least excited about. Eight, eight of us, and we've kind of grown um, to be sort of a family now. You know, we, we know one another, we value one another. Um, we, we've been able to help one another grow. And, and um, so to know that it's not going to just last like this with these same people, that's the harder part. 
I think that uh, people naturally embrace the the show because it represents natural talent. Like you, you definitely. It's not about embarrassing people. It's not about showing a side of people that will just allow the ratings to go up because they're being embarrassed or they're showing, you know, the not so great sides. And the, no, they they present they present each artist as if we are stars and the, this is our moment. And and people have different, you know, different things that they connect with with the show. Different people in our stories. We have stories that that touch millions of people around the world. And I feel like that's what people value. They they're they're interested in knowing these people who are who are being presented to the world for the very first time and they're used to following that journey. They want to follow the journey and see the growth, the growth and how the person comes along and how the the star that they really evolve into. Hey y'all, it's your girl Soraya. I am 28 years old from Chicago, Illinois. And I just want to say, Chicago, that I'm so excited to represent our city, to, 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 to bring light to our city. We have so much happening right now that is not great, not so great. We see a lot of hate, a lot of killing, a lot of murders. But right now, I get to show a little love. And I feel like I'm very excited to show that something else comes from, from Chicago. And I hope that uh, you all are pleased with the way I represent us, because I will represent well and I won't let you down.